The other thing is that Mary Louise called me the other day and she received a bill from the lawyer and she gave it to Mike to give to me and it was hand delivered this morning. Hand delivered to Mike. Okay, this is a you may remember everybody that's here right now was here last year as well. Uh, a motion was made. I wasn't here for that particular meeting, but there was a motion made to um, to hire a lawyer, and so Mary Louise went out and, and retained a lawyer, and so we have a bill here that she just received. I think it was yesterday. Yeah. She called me, and. So I am going to simply, I didn't, I wasn't there, wasn't there for the meeting when it was decided to <coughs> retain a lawyer. I'm going to give this to... Excuse me, may I see that? Yes, you may. Yeah. I'm going to give it to the selectman rep, and because I... Read I it, so. Okay. No, it's not read it all out yeah. You'd like well, to, you'd my like understanding to was that money was supposed to be returned because it was only a deposit. <coughs> it never was sent. I okay. I don't know for it sure. It was never sent. I think there are people here that do remember this better than I do. It was never sent. Uh, that there was, she retained a lawyer, there was a contract that she was sent that asked for $2,000 a, a retainer. A retainer of two thousand dollars, and then it stated that it would be an hourly rate of it was either two fifty or two seventy five, and it would, and then that retainer would have to be replenished as as the hours were built. And I think it mentioned as well that the in that contract that the uh, billable hours would stop when he left his office. So if we asked him to come here to talk to us. He's up in Concord. He's going to have two hours of driving that's going to be paid for. In any case, my understanding, I might be wrong, was that <coughs> Board of Selectmen refused to allow the Budget Committee to hire a lawyer because of a 91A request. They didn't see, they didn't see that as warranted. So they simply said, no. That's not correct. That we, she no. didn't have the authority to do what she did. Yeah. Now, there was a letter, I don't remember okay, the well. lawyer's name. There was correspondence from that lawyer to Mark Thrall saying that there would be no billing if the budget committee did not have a way to pay him. He would not bill. Okay. And Mr. Jones, you have something to say about that? Yeah, I have a lot to say about this. Uh, good thing we didn't adjourn. Well, if we had, we wouldn't be talking about this BS. I forgot. BS. You mean business? Yeah. Okay. Whatever you want to classify it as. First of all, um, if we send this as a committee, as you were suggesting, Mr. Chairman, if we hand it over to the selectmen, uh, is that an implicit <coughs> approval to pay? It's no, not at all. So the, what, what, yeah, are you, what are you doing when you, what, what are we, what are you I as... Be, I would be handing it to the select... And just say deal with it. ...representative to... Deal with it. ...deal with it with the lawyer, our town lawyer. Right, right. Okay, that was my intention. Right, so we're just pass... Because I don't... Kick the can pay. down the road, pass the buck. I don't plan to pay for it myself. Kick the can down the road, pass the buck, basically, is what I hear. This was given to us as a committee, hmm. all right? And you introduced it as as a committee work item, and we need as a committee to work it. We need to say, hey, we're not paying it, or yeah, we recommend paying it. Okay, is there a motion? Right? Is there a motion in there? So we just don't hand it off and kick the can down the road to someone else and pass the buck to them and say, here, you take the heat on it. There's a process here. I'm very sensitive to process. You know that. You don't just hand the stuff down and get down to the committee. All right. So okay. please don't interrupt me as you promised you wouldn't do. Now. Regine is correct. There was a subsequent e email from uh, from this attorney that said he, he had not planned on billing for the time which he spent largely doing nothing more than speaking about the engagement and drawing up the uh, retainer agreement. And the retainer agreement specified all the terms of that retainer or, or retention of the lawyer. 
And in that, as I recall, it actually said that until the retainer is, uh, <coughs> the retainer fund has been paid, he will not begin billing until that point in time. And since that fund was never, money was never put in that fund, I had every expectation there would be no bill. So when I saw his email on some email chain that was occurring during the time, I was not surprised at all for him to say, I don't, I'm not gonna, I don't plan on doing a bill. Because it's very consistent with the agreement. Uh, so I strongly recommend that, uh, you know, this, this was, you know, care of Mary Louise Wolseley chairman dated March 15th. She wasn't chairman on March 15th. We had an election on March 14th. She wasn't even on the committee. Could you read the letter? Yeah, I'll just let you read it. It's not significant. It's just it's uh, addressed to the Hampton Municipal Budget Committee, Carrie Mary Louise Chairman, dated on March 15th for four hundred twenty-seven dollars and fifty cents. Well, hold on, hold on. I mean, for for work, hold which on. he didn't do other than you know a trying to establish a relationship with the budget committee, a relationship was ne which was never fully established. So any work he did, as far as I know was only work toward establishing that relationship, which as again, did not occur. So I move that we recommend to ignore it. I second that. Okay, any uh, discussion? Well, we've got two more people that want to speak. Why don't you go, Sonny? Sonny, go ahead. My understanding of the whole situation was the Board of Selectmen have to approve <coughs> purchases, mm -hmm. okay? Mary Louise shouldn't have signed that letter of engagement without checking with the Board of Selectmen. Right? I believe the attorney said he would for, forgive the bill because it really didn't do anything. But, you know, let the Board of, let the town attorney deal with the bill. Okay? Did I get a second? I did get a second, right? Yeah. Yes. We have a motion on the floor. <coughs> Mr. Henderson? Are you done, Sonny? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Mr. Yeah, Henderson. I mean, what Regina said is uh, what, you know, what came out of the uh, discussion. But as a body, you know, we did go along with um, trying to seek legal representation to assist us with this 91A issue, okay? We did ask for that. And therefore, my reasoning would be is we can't ignore a bill from a lawyer or anybody else, okay? I believe we should, when we have a duty to, to pass this on to the Board of Selectmen, Regina as a representative, and she takes it forward, okay? And then what Attorney Gerald and the Selectmen do at their level, but we have a bill that came to us and came to the town. And I don't think we can just ignore it. Just like if you got a bill to your house, you're not going to ignore it because you're not going to go through collections, ruin your credit, or anything else. So therefore, as a board, I believe we should move it up to the chain of command. Well, you have to actually make a good point, Steve. And I have to say that my motion to ignore was, in fact, the same way. It was kicking <laughs> down the road in a different way, isn't it? So uh, it probably wasn't appropriate. I should I should have moved to simply uh, you know, refuse to pay it or something like that. But uh, given the... Uh, <coughs> Would you like to reframe that motion? I'm thinking about just what to do. I'm thinking maybe what I would like some time to revisit the retaining agreement to be sure I'm precise on the dotting of the I's and the T's on this that we referenced to earlier. So I would like to just table it, to be honest with you, the next meeting. But I'm strongly going to be saying this committee needs to say uh, something. And I'm like, Steve, you've convinced me. We can't say, let's ignore it. But I'm right at the moment saying we should, if we're going to say something tonight, we should say we refuse to pay. No. What I, what I, Hold on. Okay. So sorry. we don't owe it by by the attorney's own okay. admission. We do not own it. What I would like to say is to bring closure to the whole process. Mark Gerald should tell us what he found, if he found anything, and it came up. Otherwise, it's too. Okay. Otherwise, it's too much ado about nothing. Okay, Bob. If you recall, I read the job description of what Mark Gerald did. Yeah, he was in the supposed minutes. to advise all the committees. He didn't <coughs> advise his committee at any point. He simply sent a demand letter for all our emails, which is excessive and unnecessary. And, that, and the only way I can accept closure is if he shows us exactly what he found and ends the process. Just because the board of select can vote a four to one to close it, doesn't close it as far as I'm concerned. In that case, I will move, Mr. Chairman, that we give this letter to Regina with our recommendation that it not be paid, and that Regina take it to the appropriate personnel for processing. Is there a second for that? 
Second. Well, I have a problem with that because it didn't go to the town of Hampton. It went to a chairman <coughs> of a committee that wasn't the chairman at the time, like you've already Care said. of. That was care of. It was sent to the Hampton it, Municipal Budget Committee. Care of. But I would prefer to table it until I can speak. My preference, too, but I don't think the body wants to go that way. Yeah. So. But here's the issue. Okay. Let's put that date could, could be a different date. That could be a mistake on their part, you know, what, the, what they did. It could be a different date she spoke to them, and they just put that date down. So, you know, okay, why get into technicalities on a date? Maybe it was we'll just eight, move to April. Not maybe it was March. <laughs> you know, maybe it was May. You know what I mean? But do we want to go down that road? If we do this, we can move it forward, okay. and let's get it over with. Hold yeah. on just a minute. Okay, first of all, I mentioned this bill, and I mistakenly, <laughs> and I'm glad that everybody is going to help me out here when I make a mistake, because what I should have done, the will of this board, I'm not here to dictate, so it depends on what this board wishes to do. Okay? He's good. So, at the, we still have some more comments. Um, Tim, did you? I made a motion. And I'm hoping to get a second to, to that this committee gives this letter to Regina to send to the appropriate town personnel for further processing, with our recommendation to not pay it. Okay. I, would you consider just for a moment, please? Would you consider postponing this, tabling it until the next meeting? I can make copies of that. I can send. Email. I would be pleased with that. It'll give me an opportunity to review all of the history on the matter. That way you'd have a chance to review the history. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody will get a copy of that to be able to see it, and we can talk about it at the next meeting. We don't have to pay this, do anything okay. right tonight. That could be a mistake from the billing person that didn't know the email that she's that Correct. the lawyer sent. It, it could very well so, be. So, I mean, so. why do we have to get everyone involved in this. Well, I mean, I was trying to... I've got something else I'd like to okay. say. No, that's all yeah. right. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. Sonny, yeah. just yeah. Bob Led had his hand up before. He'd like to say something as well. It was said here tonight that town council has talked to this lawyer and the lawyer was not going to send a bill. So it seems if that was the conversation that was held, another simple phone call by town council yeah. to remind this lawyer of that conversation should end it. Okay. Which was my motion to have Regina send it to the appropriate personnel for processing. That's the processing I had in mind. Let them make sure. Okay, I agree with that. And Sonny, go ahead. Yeah, can I add some more confusion? Go ahead, please. Okay. <laughs> we asked Regina, to, she wrote the memo from Mark Gerald. We, the board, the committee asked you to send it on. Okay. We never got it. What came up on the website Friday? on the home page was a Mark Gerald's justification. Okay, a big lengthy. That's what I read. No, wait, wait, what you wait, read was Sonny, not that. Sonny, wait, no, wait. let me finish. Not on top. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you finish. But I wanna. I just wanna say we have two issues here that we need to talk about. Right now we're talking about the bill, and I do want to talk about that as well. It's a separate issue. Okay, so just please wait on that. Let's just stick with the bill for the moment. So where are we? Bob Ladd's suggestion for the processing that I was referring to is exactly right on. Okay. Right. I'm just wording my motion in a way that gives uh, Regina. Uh, leeway in how it's handled. Okay. That's why I'm saying let Regina take it to the appropriate personnel with our recommendation not to pay it. Okay. Do we need to take a vote on that or just have the I'll need a second or whatever Brian you want. Seconded. Thank you. Okay. Brian seconded it. So anybody else have anything? <laughs> Your motion is that we give the bill to Regina and ask her to send it to the appropriate personnel for further processing with our recommendation not to pay it. Okay. All right. Seconded by Brian. Any further discussion? I think you should just add what Bob had said about the discussion between the two. That's my expectation. I think the whole I'm, body's I'm expectation. Go I want to give them a little leeway. Maybe they don't want Ger Gerald to handle it. Maybe they want the town manager to handle it. Let them do that. I don't care. All right. Yeah. Are we ready to vote? I, I will point out that. What I wanted to do originally was what we're going to end up doing, but I forgot that I'm not a dictator here. It's not what it you're originally be, doing, because we're given a recommendation to, be, to not pay. That's the big distinction. Go. Okay, there's, well, we have some clarification. Thank you very much. All those in favor of the motion? Those not in favor of the motion? Ginny, Mike Plouffe, Steve Henderson, any abstentions? Do you have that? 
Is there an extension? I, no abstention. Abstention. No. no. So there were three so, no's. Three no's. So the, Seven, the yes. motion passes. Okay. Thank you very much.